I decided that today I would film a video that I've been meaning to make for about a year and a half. That is a video about anxiety and the reason that I've been putting it off for so long. First of all, it was because I was still in the middle of anxiety, so I couldn't talk about it, you know, from a removed perspective. And then after that, I just had this idea in my head that it needed to be a really serious video. And if you've been around here for like even five minutes, you'll know that serious videos are not exactly my forte. But then it just kind of clicked within the last week or so that it doesn't have to be a serious video. Like it's about a serious topic, but there are plenty of videos out there about how horrible anxiety is. And the thing is, if you've got anxiety, you, you know it's shit. You know you're not having a great time, so I don't need to sit here and be like, this is why it's so horrible. I feel like the most constructive thing I can do at this point in my life is to sit down and make a video about anxiety just as the person that I am now. Because now, I'm really freaking happy. I'm in a great headspace. I'm at the point now where my anxiety affects me like probably less than 10% of the time and not anywhere near as badly as it used to. I go through weeks and weeks and weeks in my life now without really running into any issues with my anxiety. Take that, compare it to like September 2013 where I would wake up first thing in the morning, my heart would be like trying to beat out of my chest. I would feel like shit all day. Like I would have to get my mom to come and pick me up sometimes because I couldn't get back on a tram to go home because I'd be feeling so sick because of my anxiety. I'd be crying all day and then I'd fall asleep thinking about my anxieties at night. Like, it was, it's a full-time job. Having anxiety is a full-time, shitty, shitty job that you don't get paid for, basically. So, the reason that I'm telling you that my anxiety was really freaking horrible, and people who were around me during that time know, like, there were so many times where it would be, like, two in the morning, and my boyfriend at the time would be asleep next to me, and I would have to wake him up because I would be sobbing my eyes out, because I would be so worried about some ridiculous situation that I'd come up with in my own head. Like, my anxiety was really, really bad. And I'm not telling you this so that it's like, oh, poor Maddie, her anxiety was so bad. I'm telling you this because now my life is nothing like that. I wake up in the morning and I'm pissed off because I'm awake, but I'm happy. And I fall asleep at night, very tired because I stayed up too late, but I'm happy. And I go through my entire day without worrying about, like, stupid, stupid things that would have made me so upset and so anxious a year and a half ago. Like, I go through most of my life not actually dealing with anxiety and I feel like it's important for you guys to know the difference between how I used to be and how I am now for me to present the point that I'm trying to get across in this video which is that it does genuinely get better and the thing is if you're someone who's dealing with anxiety right now me just saying this to you I know that you can hear what I'm saying but you're probably not completely processing it and that's not because there's something wrong with you well there is because you've got anxiety but like nothing out of the ordinary there's nothing wrong with you. Well, there is something wrong with you. You've got, you've got anxiety. When you're in the middle of anxiety, when you're dealing with it constantly, people can tell you over and over again, yeah, it gets better, but you're not really going to be able to process that because everything in your body and in your mind is working against you being able to accept that. Long ramble, slightly shorter. This video is basically just going to be a bunch of things that I wish that I could have told myself when my anxiety was really bad. And hopefully, you can, first of all, just believe me that my anxiety was terrible and then see how I am now and believe even if you can't completely comprehend it because your anxiety is telling you, no, you're never going to be fine again. Just try and believe me that I'm genuinely really, really happy now and I was really, really fucking unhappy back then. I've also done a post which I will link down below on how to get through an anxious day. This isn't how to get through having anxiety in general. It's just if you wake up feeling really off one day, this is what I do to get through it. So I'll link that down below onto the list. The first and most important thing is the biggest cliche of all time, and that is that it does and it will get better. It's possible for you to feel better. It doesn't feel like it right now. Trust me, I'm very aware because I had days where I would sit there and I would like listen to music that would usually make me really happy or I would do other things that would usually make me feel really, really happy and I wouldn't feel anything. Like, I would feel nothing. And so I would sit there and I would be like, am I ever going to actually, like, feel genuinely happy again in my life? And I just couldn't imagine it. I would just get so scared that, like, I would go through life doing all these things that used to make me really happy and just not feeling anything. But the thing is, now, I am one of the most creepily happy people that you will meet in your entire life. All I have to do is put on, like, a freaking Guy Sebastian song and I'm bouncing off the walls. I'm so happy. So it does and it will get better. Even if you genuinely feel like it will never get better, you will never be genuinely happy again. 
that's your anxiety. That's what it does. This one is very specifically tailored to myself, but hopefully it will resonate with some of you. It's first of all, you're not crazy because when you don't know what's going on with you before you know that it is anxiety, you do genuinely just feel like you're going crazy. Um, you're not crazy. You've just got anxiety. It's shit, but you know, once you know what it is, you can deal with it. This isn't you having some weird premonition that terrible things are going to happen. Now, being me and being so into trusting my instincts, having anxiety really fucked with me because genuinely in my head, I was like, am I having that so raven premonitions that something terrible is going to happen? Because anxiety creates the same kind of feelings within you that you get when, you know, you have a feeling that something bad is going to happen. So it's very difficult at the beginning, especially, to be able to differentiate between what's your anxiety and what is you genuinely feeling that something bad's gonna happen. Most of the time, spoiler alert, it's gonna be your anxiety. So, you're not Raven. You might be, just actually, if you have premoni- not, we're not gonna go into that, this is not that video. If you have premonitions though, like, hit me up, because I would be- actually, I don't wanna know my future. This is why I couldn't make a serious video about anxiety. <laughs> You're not Raven. You might- I, I always say when I say things like this, I don't know your life, but like for the most part, you are probably not Raven. So if you're like, oh my god, I feel like this terrible thing is gonna happen, just chill. Like it's probably not gonna happen. It's just your anxiety making you feel like it is. Oh my god, don't let yourself get into the mentality of jinxing things. I learned this the hard way. And I know that this sounds weird, I'll explain it. Basically, my anxiety is general anxiety with a lot of health anxiety and a bit of obsessive compulsive that kind of like comes in at really fun times. So, in my head, the idea of jinxing things is like a very real thing and logically, I know it's not. But it got to the point where my boyfriend at the time, I like, I couldn't let him go out of the room without telling him that I loved him because I was so scared something bad was gonna happen to him before he came back. Like, just don't, don't, oh my god, you're not magic. You're not mad. You might be magic, but like, this is the time to forget about that, yeah? Just accept the fact that most of the things going on in your head and most of the feelings that you're having are your anxiety. So if you were like a completely normal person without anxiety and you were having very, very strong intuitive feelings, I would say listen to that. But if you've got anxiety, I'm going to say try and ignore it and get on with the rest of your life because dwelling on things and worrying about things is only going to make your anxiety worse. And worrying about things, generally speaking, doesn't ever actually fix the problem. If you slip back a bit or have a bad day, that doesn't mean things are going to come crashing down and go back to how they were. And that's really important, I think, to understand. The thing with anxiety is you don't steadily get better. It's not a straight line. You get better and then you might have an off day. And then you get better and you may have a week where you feel like shit. And then you get better and you know, it, it's a process. The first few times that you have a bad day or that you get anxious feelings again after you've started to you know, feel better for a while, it is freaking terrifying. For me, I was like, oh my god, I feel like shit again today. Are we back to square one? Like, is this always gonna happen? But no, like, you just have off days. You're allowed to feel like shit sometimes. It doesn't mean your anxiety is back to square one. It just means you're having an off day. So try not to freak out, because you stressing out about your anxiety coming back is, spoiler alert, it's not gonna help. It's really not. <laughs> and the next point is one that I mentioned briefly just then. You're allowed to feel shitty sometimes. You are very much allowed to feel shitty. It's your prerogative as a human being, let alone a human being with anxiety. If you feel bad, don't make yourself feel worse be like because you feel bad. You know what I mean? Like, don't stress yourself out by thinking, oh my god, my anxiety is going to make this day so much worse. Like, all these people are going to be so annoyed at me because I've got really bad anxiety today. Like, just allow yourself to feel like shit. It's like after you have a breakup, you have to allow yourself to like cry and you have to allow yourself to like watch Frozen 20 times on your couch with your dog. You do need to know where to draw the line and where to be like, okay, I need to keep moving on with my life. But you do also need to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling because you know, there, you, if you suppress things, if you repress things, you're just gonna feel worse. So if you're having a bad day, just accept that you're having a bad day and don't stress yourself out about it because you're just gonna make yourself feel worse. This is a very important one. No one else gets to tell you how you should or shouldn't or do or don't feel. No one else is in your body or in your mind, so no one else gets to tell you, you should feel like this right now, you shouldn't feel like that, or you do feel this, you don't feel that. They don't know, they're not you. You're the only person who is in your mind right now, so you're the only person that really knows how you're feeling. And if someone else is telling you, you should feel better by now, so get over it. Go away, go away, go away, you terrible person.
No. No, it's no one else's prerogative to tell you how you should or shouldn't feel because they're not dealing with it. Every single person's anxiety is different. So things that I went through, you might not go through and vice versa. And people who've never gone through it at all, they've got no freaking clue. So if someone else is telling you you should feel fine and you feel like shit, don't make that, like, don't allow that to make you feel worse. The one instance, though, where you should listen to other people above yourself is when they tell you that it does get better. Because the thing is, you're going to feel like it won't ever go back to normal. Trust me, like, I understand. It feels like you're never, ever going to be able to feel the way that you did before all of this happened, but it will. And people are going to tell you that it will go back to normal or that you'll feel better and you're not going to believe them. And I understand that because people would tell me you're going to feel better. Like it does get easier. It gets better. You're going to feel like yourself again. And I would just think like I would say, okay, but in my head I'd be like, well, you don't know because you don't know what's going on inside my brain right now. It feels like you know a hundred percent that you're never going to feel normal again. And all these people are just saying it because they don't know. They're not inside your head. But the thing is, they do know. They are completely right. And that is one of the, the reasons why anxiety is so horrible. Because it conditions you to genuinely feel like this is how you're going to be for the rest of your life. I remember sitting there just trying to figure out how I was going to get through the rest of my life feeling the way that I did. Because it's so exhausting and it's so horrible. And you can't imagine ever being able to go back to how it used to be. Because for me, it genuinely felt like someone flicked a switch in my brain and I was suddenly aware of all these things that I hadn't been before. And the way you get better isn't by forgetting everything that you're aware of now. It's your brain learning to deal with that information in a different way. For example, a year and a half ago, I could have seen a picture and that picture could have set me off. I could be crying for four hours and like thinking about every terrible thing that could possibly happen in my life. I could see that exact same picture today and you know the worst it's gonna do is make my heart do like a little bit of a skip and then I'll be like not nah, we're not doing that anymore let's just calm down like it's your brain and your body learning to process the same information in a different way and that's why you have anxiety in the first place you know there were things that I would have not looked at twice before I had anxiety that would completely set me off when I did have it so if you can go one way you know if you can go from being fine to being horrible all the time why can't you go back? Holy shit, talk about it. Talk about it, talk about it. When people would say to me, talk about your anxiety, I would think, you know, how is that gonna help me? Every single turning point that I had was a time that I talked to someone else about it. And the thing is, when you talk to someone else about what's going on in your head and they don't react by like screaming and running away, it makes you think, okay, maybe this is something that's just going on in my head. I haven't realized that like the world is a terrible place and we're all doomed. Every time one of my friends says to me, I think I've got anxiety, what do I do? I always say, go to your doctor. Because for me, going to my doctor and having her actually say, yep, you've got anxiety was such a relief. You wouldn't think that it would be a relief to have someone tell you that you have anxiety, but to actually have a label to be able to put on it and know that like this is why all of this stuff is happening is such a relief. And once you know what's wrong, then you can start getting help for it. Especially if you don't have a friend or a family member that you can talk to about it. Therapy is a great idea and it really does help. And the thing is, I just, it's so freaking simple. Like just talking about things shouldn't, it doesn't seem like it should make much of a difference, but it does. It's this, the one thing like, oh my god, just, just, I can't, I can't even, just, just talk about it. Just talk about it. Oh my god, just talk about it. <laughs> Spend your time around the people who are supportive and understanding, and if someone's a dick about it, you don't have to be nice to them. You don't have to spend your time with someone who's a dick about your freaking mental illness. That's their problem. That's them being an asshole. So spend your time with people who make you feel better rather than worse. And that's a general life advice. Spend time with people who build you up rather than people who make you feel shit about yourself. That's advice for life and advice for dealing with anxiety. Two for one, you're welcome. This one ties in with what I said before about talking about it and it's just get help, like get professional help. And I know that that sounds like I'm saying you need professional help, but you do. Like I didn't think that going to the doctor or going to therapy would actually make that much of a difference, but it did. I just went to my GP, like my normal doctor, walked in and was like, I feel like shit, this is what's happening. She said, yep, sounds like you've got anxiety and referred me to a therapist. So it doesn't have to be like this horrible, daunting thing. My final piece of advice is to listen to other people's advice, but also learn what makes things better and worse for you personally. But at the same time, just because something has worked for you in the past, it doesn't mean it's always gonna work every single time. So listen to your instincts in the moment. Like for me, the weirdest example of this that I can think of is 
one day I was feeling anxious and I had a bag of minties, which if you're not Australian, it's just like, it's like chewy mint candy, right? And for some reason, I went to eat a minty and it made me feel like I was gonna have a panic attack. I don't know why that was. It was very fucking odd. <laughs> but I was like, maybe I should spit this out because for whatever reason, I'm not enjoying having this minty right now. So listen to yourself. <laughs> there might be like a song that normally makes you feel really calm, but if you start playing that song and it's making you feel anxious, obviously stop listening to it. Same thing with movies and like TV shows. Like if something is making you feel worse, Oh my god, stop it. Just stop it. There's no reason for you to keep doing something if it's making you feel worse. And at the same time, if you really feel like, oh, I really want to listen to this song right now, my things are very music-based, so that's why all my examples are songs. But if you're like, I really want to listen to this song, listen to it. Like, find a way to listen to it, because if, you're, if your brain is like, oh, I want to listen to this, it might make you feel better. So just listen to yourself. Even if you're like, there is no reason for me to be feeling like this, this is candy, why would this make me feel anxious? Spit out the minty. Yeah, if you're doing something in your life and you're like, oh, I feel really weird right now, stop what you're doing. Just think to yourself, should I spit out the minty? Probably. Am I gonna regret it if I spit it out? Not really. You might be like, oh, that sucks. I wish I had candy now. But you're probably gonna regret it more if you don't spit out the minty and you have a panic attack or you start crying. It is getting dark outside, so I'm gonna wrap this up. That is my anxiety video for now. I hope that I've managed to get some kind of information across to you. Basically, if you take anything away from this video, just let it be how I am in this video. The fact that I'm talking about anxiety and I feel fine and I'm not getting upset and I'm in a really good mood today and like, I'm fine most of the time. I feel fucking great. And if you'd seen me a year and a half ago, I was just a mess. Like, my anxiety completely took over my life and it was horrible and it was a constant struggle to get through every single day. And now, I think it's pretty obvious, even if you don't know me personally, that I'm freaking great now. Like, I feel happy pretty much all the time. I'm like creepily happy a lot of the time. My anxiety doesn't even bother me most of the time. And if I have an off day, I'm at a point in my life now where first of all, my off days are nothing like they used to be when it was bad. Um, I just kind of feel a bit weird all day. And I'm at a point where I know within myself that having an off day doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It just means I'm having an off day. So. If you don't believe other people when they say that you're gonna get better, at least believe me when I say that I have gotten better. And that anxiety isn't something that goes away completely. Like there are things where I'll look at something and I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't concentrate on that because it might put me in a weird headspace. But it, it, it just, I can't, I can't explain it. I'm just very excited for you to get to a point where you feel the way I do, where you can look back at your anxiety and say, that was horrible. It was really, really shit, but now I feel great again, you know? And I'm not the kind of person who usually sits here and is like, oh my God, I love my life so much, but I do, I freaking love my life. I'm one of the happiest people that you will meet. I'm a massive dickhead, but the reason that I get away with that is because I'm so happy in the rest of my life. Anxiety doesn't have to ruin your life. Anxiety doesn't have to be something that you live with for the rest of your life. Like technically I'm living with anxiety, but I'm not struggling with it. It's not something that I even think about really on a daily basis unless I think about it in the context of, wow, I don't have anxiety today, isn't this great? So, oh my God, if you take one thing away from this video, please let it be that you can get better and that you will get better. And the fact that you don't feel like you're going to get better now is the anxiety. My camera's dying and I feel like I need to wrap this up in a really deep way, but I can't think of a way to do that. So I'm just gonna say goodbye, leave me travel questions. I hope your anxiety gets better, goodbye. Oh dear.